So a warm welcome to you all. We will be underway very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And our live game is Fiorentina against Ajax. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert Jim Beglin. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium. And I've been hit by it too. Two starting lineups. So away we go then. Fiorentina being made to look sloppy in possession here. Rodriguez. Valero looking to get on the end of this. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Rochedli Bazor. Schoener. Valero, he spotted the run and played him through. Firmly met. It's Fernandez. He's got away with one there. Oh, this has been such a positive approach from them in the early part of this game. Everybody is programmed to get forward, and despite a couple of failed attempts, they are the better side. It's a loose ball. to get it away Good defending albeit from an unexpected source well they say that your front lads should be that first line of um, of stopping the opposition and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out questions were asked and he's given the answers out wide to the right David Klaas Half an hour in now, and it's Schoener. Schoener, well down the left. Now, what are his options? Tomovic. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Now the pass. And the finish! Just about enough on that, but all at the expense of a corner. Keeper absolutely berating his defenders. Well, he has every reason to be up. Goal! Ajax! First blood here. Well, that lifts some of the pressure, but they need to maintain their work rate. It's been very good up to now. Into the final five minutes of the first half. Oh, good interception. Valero comes forwards. A real chance to break. Klaassen. A 
half-time whistle goes. I honestly don't think they need to change anything in this second half. They just need to believe in themselves, stick to the game plan, and I'm sure they can turn this scoreline round. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Fiorentina didn't have a great first half. They need a change of fortune. Rushedli Bazor. Joel Veltman. David Klassen. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Spoon forward. Passes it through. Tried to play it through. Look, if he wants that ball to make it, then he has to pass it with a bit more zip. I think he knew as soon as it left his boot, it was going to be cut out. Just lacked a little more power. Fine defending there. Bruschetti Bazor. And it's Schoener. So we've reached the hour mark. Look, should they not get back into this game, the possession stats will hold the reason why. Everything is a bit rushed and frantic. They need someone to impose a more composed approach and just settle it down. Tries a through ball. Well played, he saw that coming. And the through ball is intercepted. Bruschetti Bazor. It's a forceful run down the right, but he's short of options now. Tries a long pass towards the front. Looking for a decent ball in. Fiorentina get dipped into their subs by a lack of accuracy. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Looks like a good ball through. And a second time! He scored! And surely now, the result's beyond doubt. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Ajax have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Goes wide. Now here's the through ball. Towering header! It's come loose. Appearance and very necessary. Another piece of really good defending. Lucas Anderson. Ricardo van Rijn. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Thrust towards the front line. Lucas Anderson. It's Goodell. Where to from here? Played out to the wing. Flags up, he must have been offside. And 
that's it. Fiorentina beaten here. They might well feel aggrieved, but the result is everything. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Listen, the one area that was most vulnerable was the heart of their defence. Uh, they've got to be far more robust in such a crucial position. And for me, it cost them the game. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.